Folks, hi, good afternoon from Edinburgh, Scotland. I am sorry it's been about seven weeks since I've posted anything here on YouTube, but I'm sure you can appreciate why. We're still very much on lockdown here in Scotland, but I'm itching to get out there and travel again. So as soon as I can do that, I will be bringing you content, I promise. I was actually due to be going up to Svalbard in Norway next week, but I've had to cancel that one. Now that was with Scandinavia and that was five flights to and from Edinburgh. Now I've taken a credit for that rather than a refund. Svalbard is the northernmost commercial airport in the world. So you can see why I was keen to make that trip and I'll be bringing that to you at some point within the next year. Now I've also had to cancel some Logan Air flights as well. But again, I've taken credits for those rather than refunds because when the skies do reopen again, I imagine that there'll be a lot of domestic travel before all the international stuff kicks off again. So I hope you'll see some Logan Air flights from me at some point in the next few months. During lockdown, I've been trying to learn a bit of Russian, Privyet, and I'm sure that'll give you a clue as to some travel plans I've got for the future. But I've also been working on my van. I've got a Toyota panel van out the front there, but I've been working on the back, some DIY customization to make the back a little bit more comfortable. And that'll be for trips around Scotland when lockdown does ease a little. So if you'd like me to post some of those trips here on the channel, just let me know in the comments below. I was thinking we could go to places like the Isle of Skye, the North Coast 500, that's another really popular route here in Scotland. So if you'd like to see some of that, be sure to let me know. I hope you're all doing really well and thank you so much for sticking by me. I'm up over 2,000 subscribers now, which is just amazing, uh, well beyond my expectations. In the meantime, why don't we go down and have a little look at that van just now and I'll give you a little tour of what I've been up to, my little DIY bodges throughout lockdown. Let's go. From here, you can really see the advantage of having a stealthy van. No one would know that you were camping in here and that means you can really park it anywhere you want at night. The whole idea of how I've designed this is really simplicity. A raised floor here gives loads of storage space underneath but also gives plenty of room above. This unit here again loads more storage and the kitchen area to the front there. There's no insulation, there's plenty of ventilation, it's everything I need. And if I just undo 40 of these screws, then we're back to a normal panel van. On the left here, we've got all the cooking equipment on there. Got some tools here. In behind there as well, there's another box with bedding and stuff like that, just in a little Ikea box. And on the right, we've got all the food. Stick that back in there just now. That's for dirty washing, that's not the toilet. Uh, now this is what I've really been working on throughout lockdown. Here you can see I've fitted in a cool box, so I've got access from both inside and outside the van. And here I've put in a couple of storage bins. Got this one here, it opens up, there's just a lot of rubbish in there just now. I've also put a little map pocket down in the front there. And as we move around the side here, I've fitted a little outdoor cooking area. That just removes any need for ventilation inside the van because you are cooking right outside there. And the theme continues underneath with all that bags of storage space. So there's a three-man kayak there, all the paddles and plenty of other stuff as well. Inside here I've fitted a proper mattress, a winter duvet and then another cover as well. So it doesn't matter what the weather's like, it's always going to be cosy and warm. Believe it or not, this bed's actually more comfortable than the bed at home. You can see as well, I put in one of these roof ventilators. That's one of the best things I fitted, really worth the money. That was about £70. I didn't really like cutting the hole in the top of my van, but that was well worthwhile. So that's my van. Be sure to let me know if you would like me to post some trips around Scotland in this. And as soon as lockdown's gone, we'll be doing just that. Cheers for watching today. Bye bye.